everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm so glad you're joining me. I'm here for Paper Tray Ink, and today we are creating a card using the Blissful Blooms stamp set. This is a fun stamp set that's very, that has florals in here and a lot of whimsical feel to it. And we're going to create with this. And then there's a coordinating die set we'll be using. And then we have a new stencil collection from Paper Tray Ink. This is the Perfect Stripes. There's actually two new stencil collections. Um, one of They look kind of similar, but they're actually not. Um, this one here is the Playful Stripes. So they look real similar, but this has straight lines. This has a little bit of wonky lines. We're using straight lines today for our card. And then I'm also going to create a background panel to stamp my greeting on and a home to put my florals. This is the Reflections die set from uh, for April 2024. There's three dice in the set, then there's a little pierced detail that makes great frames, and we're going to use this on our card project. Let's do a little bit of stamping. I'm bringing in my stamping positioner. I already have some white card stock in here. And we're going to stamp a few flowers here. We're going to layer them together. These are nice for overlapping, but since we have the coordinating die set, I thought we would layer them um, all together in like a little floral cluster. And we're we'll going to be using these two. And then we'll also use this one. It's real pretty. Maybe a small one in here. I'm going to do a little rearranging. We have four flowers. And then I have the leaf that we're going to stamp. I'm actually going to stamp the leaf here. Let me show you. This one. We're actually going to stamp this one twice. And then I'm also going to stamp some of the, the playful swirlies and loopies. But I'm going to do that on another piece of cardstock because... Um, those are going to be black. We're going to do one flower at a time, starting with our largest. I have some inks here. We're going to stamp the largest flower. I'm going to stamp that with my pale peony. Maybe we should go orange. We're going to stamp the largest flower here with orange zest. So I'm just going to ink this up. We'll stamp this. Lovely. I'm going to clean off my image. We're going to stamp our next one. The, the next flower, we're going to use Hibiscus Burst. We're going to stamp some bright summery colors on our card. Let's go ahead and ink this. Isn't that a pretty color? Okay, we're going to go ahead and wipe off this image. For this next flower, we're going to use Pale Peony. Go ahead and stamp that. And then the smallest flower, we're going to use Summer Sunrise. Okay, and then for our leaf flourish, we're going to use New Leaf Ink. Go ahead and stamp this. So pretty. I'm going to clean this off and then I'm going to reposition it and stamp it this one more time. I'm also going to stamp this flower once more too. I'm going to stamp it with the same Summer Sunrise ink. And then I'm going to stamp that leaf again once more. Okay, so those that's our florals. You see how whimsical and playful they are? Um, I'm going to put this to the side, bring in another piece of cardstock, and we're going to add some of our swirlies here. Okay, and I'm going to stamp this leaf one more time. With We're going to add a little bit more greenery. This leaf here is this one here. And that's all the loop-de-loops we're doing for this panel. We're going to do a few more, but I'm going to actually do them on the flowers. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side. And then I'm going to take the coordinating die set. And we're going to die cut out all of our images. 
now that we have all of our florals die cut out, we can layer them together. Um, I've been layering them together in a cluster before I add them to my card base, and I kind of like the effect that I've been getting. Um, it's kind of been going good for me, so we're going to just continue. What I'm going to do is add a little glue here, and then I will tack down this flower here. Maybe over here. And then I'm going to add a little glue to the spine of our leaf flourish. And let's go ahead and add this. Okay, we have our yellow flower, which I'm loving. I think the yellow flower, I'm going to... I'm going to use a larger foam square behind this smaller flower because I'm probably going to stamp on this. So if I use a larger foam square, it's going to give me more surface to stamp on. Okay, we have this flower here. Let's go ahead and add this flower on this side. Okay, and then for these, I'm not going to add yet because I'm going to go ahead and do a little stamping with some black ink. We have this piece here. I'm going to take that. I'm going to ink it up with my true black ink, and we're going to stamp on this hibiscus burst flower. Go ahead and stamp that. We have this little loopy I'm going to add to this flower. And I added to this one also. This little circle that we're going to add to this small yellow flower. Let's go ahead and add that to the center. And I think that looks good. This looks a little plain, but I think I'm going to add one of these to the center or around it. Okay, I'm going to put this to the side, and then we're going to stencil our background. The Perfect Stripe Stencil Collection has two pieces. I'm going to take the one with the more wider stripes. I'm going to go ahead and add these to the front of my card. Just kind of centering it. And I don't want this to go anywhere, and so I'm going to tape it down. And then I'm going to bring in my blending brush and my new leaf ink. And we're going to add... I'm going to pick up some new leaf ink and we're just going to ink blend right over the top here. I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off. Just using a towel, I'm going to wipe off my stencil. Okay, let's take a look. Wonderful. Next, we're going to go ahead and add our next layer of stripes. For my next layer, we're going to be using True Black ink. And I'll just paint. We're going to go bold and create some pinstripes here. Okay, I went ahead and wiped off my stencil. Let's take a look. And we have some lovely stripes here. Okay, let's put this aside. I'm going to go ahead and place this on the front of an A2 size card base. So the so that's our card base. Okay, next we need a background panel. And then using the Reflections die set for April 2024, I'm going to take the largest. And I'm going to die cut out a panel with this. I went ahead and placed that panel inside my stamping positioner, and I'm going to arrange my floral how I want it here. And then I'm going to make sure that I have enough room for my greeting. I'm going to stamp birthday hugs. Here. I'll pick this up with the lid of my stamping positioner. I'll remove my florals, and using my True Black ink, we're going to go ahead and ink up our grading. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
I'm going to flip this panel over. We're going to put some foam tape on it. And then I'm going to place it on my card base. And place this in the center. And then I'm going to take my florals and I'm also going to pop them up with some foam tape. Lovely. And then we have all of our doodles here. I'm just going to use my tape runner. And we can add some extra doodles here. We're going to put a small foam square behind this one. And I'm going to do a little tucking with it here. Tuck this under there. And then this one will directly adhere. And I think this flower is just a little bit bare. I want to take this, the one that we stamped here, and I'm going to ink it up one more time here. Let's go this way with it. Kind of filling that area in. Okay, now all we need are some bells and whistles. I'm going to bring in some of my paper tray ink moonshine sequins. And we're going to add a little bit of sparkle. our card project here. And that finishes my card today. Kind of a whimsical feel. This is the Blissful Blooms stamp set. Super fun. Sky's the limit on how you place those little doodles. <laughs> but I thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.